Welcome to Chris Cook for you too. Today I'm coming to you with a special request and I'm going to be showing a special recipe as well. This was sent to me by one of my viewers. The request was, and that's JD Ann. She is currently um, in five stage kidney disease and she is looking for some recipes that would help her to um, just change her menu or her diet to something that's more feasible for her conditions right now. So if you are undergoing that or if you have been through that and if you know of some recipes that she could use, I'd like for you to post them in the comment section. Now just don't give me something randomly off the top of your head. I want people to post things that have actually gone through a battle and it's what when they had to change their diet this is what actually they chose now the recipe that I'm choosing for today is a broccoli recipe it's real quick real easy but it's also good for those who are doing keto and I know that you're familiar with the diet keto but it's it's keto friendly so I think that if you try this recipe, if you're undergoing anything, or if your family members are undergoing, or if they're in uh, keto, if they're doing the keto diet, I think that this will be a good one. Remember, I want you to post those people doing comments. I want you to post something that you know will be good. That way, when she looks back at the comments, she can maybe find something that can help her out in what she's actually going through now i also want you to do one other thing and that's i want you to remember her in her prayers in your prayers as i will remember her in mine so this goes out to jd and jd and i will be praying for you but i hope that this recipe will be one that you can use for the recipe and it's only a quick fast broccoli recipe i think that she would really be able to use for that, the ingredients that you're going to need, of course, is going to be the broccoli. It's going to be some garlic powder. I'm using an infused garlic oil or olive oil, but any olive oil that you have would do. I just wouldn't use one that's um, kind of low in cost. I think I'd use one that was a little bit uh, better brand and better blend. You're going to need some salt. Now, the recipe actually calls for fresh lemon juice. The reason for that is because a concentrated lemon juice is too pungent. But I did not have a concentrated lemon juice, and I wanted to go ahead. I'm sorry, I did not have a fresh lemon juice and I wanted to go ahead and did get this posted because it's been on my mind so I'm going to use this concentrated lemon juice this is not what you should be using though you should be using two, the juice from two fresh lemons so remember that this will be a little bit more pungent if you have don't have a problem with it being strong then that's fine but the recipe calls for something different so what i'm going to actually do is to go away and get my broccoli actually cut up so that i can steam it it only takes about five six minutes to steam it i have my colander sitting out here because i have a pot of water that i'm going to boil i'm going to sit my colander down in the water not going to allow the water to actually touch the broccoli i'm so it's a low amount of water that's going to be in the pot and I'm going to put a top over it steam it for five six minutes then I'm going to make the infused oil to pour over this and this dish is done so I'll be right back once I get the broccoli all cut up and I will meet you at the stove okay here I have my water and it's already boiling in a pot and as you can see I have the top for it now I have a limited amount of water in there if you can look over in the pot you only see just a little bit of water just enough to cover the bottom and I do have my broccoli that is actually sitting over in the colander now see the colander is not actually touching the water you don't want it to touch the water because that's what mushes your broccoli and you won't have that good 
fresh broccoli taste that you need. So I'm going to cover the top and I'm going to allow this to steam. This is only going to steam maybe five, six minutes at the most. Now, the more broccoli that you use, of course, the more steaming time you're going to use. This is a small amount of broccoli, so it shouldn't take me that long. As soon as it steams, I'll take you back to the table. I'll make the sauce that goes over this. Okay, now I want to just show you the broccoli. No water has hit this broccoli. This is strictly from steam. Okay, and I want to show you. Now, your broccoli is done. And that's the way you want your broccoli to look. Now, if you cook that broccoli any dunner, you're going to turn it to mush. So, five, six minutes is long enough. You can use your own discretion on the amount of time based on whether or not you want a crunch or exactly how you want your broccoli to actually taste. This is done. I'm going to take this back to the table where we'll make the sauce. Just wanted to show you what it actually looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back with my broccoli and I have it over in this bowl. So now we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce for this. As always, your ingredients will be in the description box. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this because I know how to do it. So you wanna take some olive oil does not have to be infused. Mine is infused with garlic, but you don't have to necessarily do that. It calls for a half of a cup of olive oil, but that's based on how much broccoli you're going to use. I'm not using that much broccoli, so it's going to be a different amount. I'm just putting in enough for what it is that I'm actually using. Then it calls for a half of a teaspoon, tablespoon, depending on how much oil you got, that's how much actual granulated garlic that you're going to use, okay? Then don't think you won't need this salt because you definitely will. Even though you have the lemon juice, you're going to need the salt because the lemon juice is not gonna bring enough flavor to really infuse this garlic so we got some salt in there if you prefer not to use salt that's totally up to you especially your keto uh, if you're using it just as a part of your keto diet now it does not call for this concentrated lemon juice but I told you I did not have it and I wanted to get this up for JD Ann so I'm gonna go ahead and use this lemon juice and you want to use any kind of either small blender or small food processor or you want to use um, a whisk okay so once you get all of your ingredients into this you're going to go ahead and you're going to start the process of blending it together Now you're only gonna blend this for like a minute. Okay, now that should be blended enough. Okay, for the amount of, let's drop that. For the amount of broccoli that I have, I think that this is a good mix. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it I'm gonna put this over my broccoli and you wanna serve it hot. Okay. And once I put it over my broccoli, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to toss it. Just so my broccoli can pick up all of the flavors of the garlic along with the oils. As you know, as you can see, I stayed away from butter and it's the olive oil and the lemon. But again, I say fresh lemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my plate. This is a very good side dish. It's keto friendly, but I think that this would help JD Ann quite a bit in what she's going through, okay? I just think that it's a good recipe and 
it's a good recipe, a friendly recipe when it comes to helping out the kidney as well. So there you have it. Chris is making broccoli that's keto friendly as well as something that I think would help in an ailment. Now I made this video for JD Ann and like I told you, uh, if you have any recipes that you think would help her in her journey, please post them in the comment section. That way when she looks back at this, she'll be able to see something that hopefully she can use. My prayers go out to her in her journey. I am praying that God will meet her every need. I want your prayers as well. My blessings go out to her as well because I hope that this is something that she can use. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for You too. Bye. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Chris Cook for YouTube. And don't forget.